If I want to suck a dick, I'll do it for free. Yay! <laughs> Where's your son? <laughs> Podcast and chill. Matt G, the ghost lady, and Len Moleko. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a special edition of Podcast and Chill. The June 16 edition. Vavas J, like he got. I was not born. Eh, eh, Vavas J. Weren't you there during the uprising, 1976? No, 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 no. Mm. The, way, the way you talk, I swear no, you were no, there. No, no, I wasn't there. You were behind. <laughs> you in the background of that famous picture. Yes, mm. I could swear I saw you yeah, there. Yeah, you were somewhere there. I was there. nine years before being born. Mm. Yes, it was nine years before I was born. So you missed it by nine years. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, it's a special edition, and today we're trying to raise a hundred k, ghost lady. A whole a hundred k. Yes. Hashtag okay. Amandla Wespani. Hashtag hundred k initiative. So what happened is, ne? Yeah. We're planning on doing a twenty-four hour podcast. Yeah. Which was going to have interviews with celebs and artists performing in between. You know, like those virtual performances mm-hmm. that everybody's been doing. Mm-hmm. But unfortunately, uh, the the main sponsor we had had to pull out. So. Oh. Uh, we we're doing something. It's not really the same, but... It's still along the lines of... What we wanted to do. Yeah. It's a light yeah. version yeah. of yeah. that, just without the live element. Mm. And just without... Damn, dog. Are you cold, bro? Suck you look tw- like you're freezing, I bro. Am. This is how much we love you guys. It's fucking cold, but we out here just for you guys. Yeah. Askies. Yeah. It's shoulder down <laughs> type of thing. I'm trying to, like, you know... Finesse the cold, but okay, it's fine. I'll be cool. I'll be cool. I'll be cool. And the great thing is that it's a yearly thing, so we're going to be doing this every year, June 16. Oh, nice! So the next one will be bigger and better, better, and yeah. probably 24 hours. Yes, yeah, because what happened is I approached Kwambe, you know? okay, uh, and I was like, Yo, guys, uh, I want us to raise funds, you know, during COVID. Mm-hmm. What can we do? So a lot of people are raising funds for um. Uh, under uh, underprivileged people, yeah, um, who can't get food yeah. and, and stuff like that. So they were like, "Hey, how about we raise funds for Wilead?" Okay. Now Wilead is a corporation where they um, they do like these uh, courses uh, for young people in grade eleven, uh, and they teach them about business. Nice. You know, which I thought is is, is way better. Yeah. Because yeah. if you can teach those kids business, that means when they grow older, they can employ people. Yeah. You know, so I think it's it's got more consistency, more longevity. Yeah, future leaders, guaranteed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So why led is that operation? And we need to raise 100K so they can buy data, laptops, and all the infrastructure they need to teach these kids. And then how do people donate? Uh, there'll be uh, links in the description okay. where you can donate. All right. And so you can donate from how much? Is there a limit or is there a minimum? Much, no, however so much. Yeah, yeah, however much you want to donate. It's all for a good cause. We're trying to uh, raise 100K. Okay. And uh, we've got Kanyimba who's going to be joining us also. Nice. Dope, 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 dope episode. Interview. Yeah. Fucking love it. Kanyimba is so cool, bro. She looks cool. Like, I tried to get her on the show for like a year, year and a half. So it's long now, yeah. And then after the episode, I was like, okay, cool. This is why it needed to be now. D- yes, yeah. Because it was so dope, dude. I think it was about an hour and a half. Yeah, it's over an hour. Yeah. She's really, really bright. Like, she is, you get a lot of information from her. She's got, a, she's got stories to tell. Yeah. Um, she's been in the game for for a while. I remember before I even got onto any any platform mm. uh, Kanye was already a newsmaker yeah and yeah whatever newspaper was and she was very young at the time yeah yeah, yeah. and she did a lot of things so she's like she, she's a true trendsetter yeah when you think of influencers like Kanye Bao a lot of these influencers should be bowing down to her like thank you Thank you, Queen I'm Influence. Down to her. Yeah, I'm bowing down. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love she's her. She's smart, bro. Yeah, very like, I don't smart. think people give her that credit, oh, man. No. She's smart. Like she'll give you a run for money. Mm. Like, I, I, but who said I'm smart? I get we ra- we raised our smartness according to you on yeah, the podcast. To your, yeah. <laughs> so we know we're not smart. Don't set yourselves up for failure, dog. <laughs> And in case you're wondering why we look so good, it's because Tabang is back. Yes. Tabang is back. From the dead. She's good. She's 
Mike there. How you been, dog? How you been, Tabang? What's been going on? Yeah, you know what Tabang's been doing during lockdown? Looking down. He's writing a book. A book? Oh. No. Oh, I'm not is writing it? a book, dog. What, is, what is it? Uh, I'm writing like a script. S- same movie. thing. Same yeah. thing. Same thing, Chief. But unscripts for um, for movies or television or yeah, radio for, production? For film. For film. Yeah, it's yeah, well, what's, right. what's your story about? Your My story, about? Um, it's about... Uh, I don't want to give out too much, man. I don't want to give out too much, you know. Um, Is it about my life? You nah, make money, bro. <laughs> 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 nah, it's about... Um, it's, 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 it's a true African story. Um, I don't want. I don't. I don't want to give out details, man. It's it's, it's close to my heart. Sci-fi, fantasy. No, nah, okay. The genre is um, drama. Drama. Yeah, it's a drama. Mm. It's a drama. We yeah. love drama. So we're gonna get Tabang's book before Lin's book. Yeah, it's not right. a book. It's, it's a, a script. movie. Yeah, In fact, Tabang, I also have. A, I also have a script. I can give it to you. I've got this nice. Yeah. I'll talk to Tabang. You know, Tabang, Ghost Lady really? has done everything. Last week we learned that she was DJing at 16. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have this idea. <laughs> She'll probably curate the movie or the drama as well. Yeah. <laughs> She'll be the... Yes, it's no. a music curator. <laughs> I just like to have a minor knowledge and not do nothing about it. That's why I was just a DJ, just to know what happens and then... Do nothing about it. So she was uh, DJing at 16. You don't want to know what Len was doing when he was 16. <laughs> <laughs> what Do you want to know? Must I tell you? Yeah. He was coming up with lingerie. <laughs> no, I wasn't. You said. Yeah. Uh-uh. Ah, <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Len. I never said at 16. I said when I was in varsity, when FTV yes. was actually prominent. That was not at 16 because... Okay. Hey, for Just the sake okay. of the podcast. So yeah, plus yeah, three yeah, years, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. 19. Hey, no, I'm not going to be your scapegoat here. <laughs> and you're going to drag me for filth. <laughs> Nigga, what? No. He's trying to make I, himself look better. I, <laughs> like, he, I was on right. crazy at 16. Yes. <laughs> doing, like, cute kitty stuff. Yes. Lane was busy drawing lingerie. <laughs> no, it just looked it just looked very fascinating uh, at the time. Because that's when I think I got to Joburg and I had access to things like going to uh, FTV mm. at the time and obviously at the time couple of my 11, 12, they would do all these shows and they just proved to be very, very fascinating and I was like, wow. I What was fascinating? The idea of wearing under uh, no. lingerie or taking off lingerie? No, not even. The, the, the designs, how can something so minimal look so nice actually? Mm. It obviously goes back to uh, there's a famous saying. So you like the bodies that wore this lingerie? Not, not even. It was the designs. Mm, okay. The designs. Because normally if you look at Victoria model secrets. So did you like silk, lace? What was? No, just the designs. It was not even about the fabric because I didn't even know <laughs> anything about fabric. Mm, okay. For me, it was like ah, cloth, get cloth mm. kind of thing. And it's, it's, it's so, so weird. So which one do you find better? Uh, what do you mean? Full panties or G-strings? Which one is... Which it's not you. even. It's not even about that. It's like how everything just comes together. Because it's not even about uh, whether it's full this or g string. It could be something as simple as a silky gown kind of thing, you know. And it's it was just a fascinating world. Still is actually. Hmm. I think I've got a fashion bone in me. That I just, just need to explore. Lingerie. No, I think it's, it's, it's a fashion bone, like, not on some Ricky Rick level. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. On some, like, no, I'm going to wear this, what, what, in any. I just like looking from afar. Because even on Pinterest of, 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 of late, I, I'm actually following a lot of fashion pages that okay. I look through on the regular. And you know what I see you do? No. Like, since you like lingerie, I know you also like sneakers. So imagine having a fashion line, like lingerie and sneakers. They just, they come in wearing sneakers and lingerie. See, I'm giving you ideas right perhaps, there. Perhaps, perhaps. Yeah. But uh, where are we at with the lingerie? Are we are you, in production? Are you, I said <laughs> I like. <laughs> are you drawing? <laughs> okay, do you have scamps? Like, just ideas? No, it's just like... Is it see-through? No, covered? it's... Again, I said I don't know about fabric. It's just things that... I like making documentaries. Have I made my first one? No, no, I haven't. Exactly. So it's like you, I have a lot of things I'm interested in to see how those worlds operate, mm. right? And in the world of lingerie, recently I actually got to learn uh, that 
it's I looked at it, I was like, oh shit, actually this 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 seems weird. Um there's a guy who was friends with actually contributed a lot of money into where Jeffrey S A Espeen. Estine. Estine. Yes. Jeffrey Estine. Yeah. Yes. The Victoria's Secret guy. Yes. Yeah. And Jeffrey was using that as a way to, to become the, the, the shitty human being yeah, that he, he is, is. Yeah. Amongst a lot of things that he did. So it's some worlds you sort of like get into them to end up figuring out other things. Um, but yeah, that's just. So what other things did, did it lead you to? What do you mean? Uh, documentaries, that's a world I learned no, a lot. No, the lingerie now. The lingerie, what? But like, why are you guys so that's like just, it's, it's, I figured that out mm-hmm. because you look at who... Hey, Tavar, I'm so uninterested, man. As long as you can take that thing off. That's, that's all that you. matters. That's <laughs> But there no, are people who pay millions and millions. Nick is trying to act very like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making, I'm just letting him like. And it's not even about, it's not even it's about taking box. it off. Yeah, yeah. It's about feeling good when you're wearing something. Mm. Like, you feel good because you're wearing the beanie that you have on. I feel no, good. I just don't but want do people to see my ideas hand. that maybe you looked at and you go, oh, you know what? Actually, something that would be it's, so nice. It's not, you know when you go into something because you also have to figure out that, yo, I'm just not going into this because. Uh, it's like a billion dollar industry and maybe get a a slice of that pie kind of thing. I, 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 I'm, I'm just of the, of the belief that you have to be like fully, fully, fully vested in something. Mm. That's when it will like truly mean something to you and you will not let it fail. Imagine if Mac was doing the podcast just so he could get paid. Mm. Two years later, there's still nothing happening. Yeah. And he's like, ah, fuck it. And then he just goes finds another interest. Yeah, it's some things are if if it's if you are really passionate about intrigue is intrigue, and exploring is exploring. But once it becomes, because I I I am of the belief of three stages. It's intrigue when interest arises, exploring just so you know where does the rabbit hole lead. Mm-hmm. If you are kind of who's the lady with the nine dwarfs? I forgot her name. Snow White. Snow White. Yes. And once you know where the rabbit hole ends or where the rabbit hole leads, do you want to go further into it? But hold it right there. It brings me to my next question. Mm-hmm. I'll start with you, Ghost Lady. Okay. Are you doing right now what you wanted to do when you were younger? Am I doing? Not really, not yet. What did you want to do when you were younger? Oh, I wanted to be a lot of things. Ooh. Yeah, we know DJ, you, rapper. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's music. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I'm not doing it, one. you know. Exactly. Like that's how I'm not. <laughs> Take me back to when you were 18. What did you want to be? You just left high school. Um. Well, I went to an advertising school. Um. Not ad- advertising. Triple A school of advertising. So you wanted to be in advertising. Yes. Anything in the arts. Yeah. Was, it, was that because of your parents? No. Or financial? I was blessed to have parents who literally like allowed me because I was talented in art. Mm. So um, that's when I uh, so I studied it there um, and uh, majored in as an art director. That was your passion. Yeah. And obviously in graphic design. That was my passion. Yes. What are you doing now? What am I doing now? I'm not doing. I'm not in advertising. I. After graduating and working a little bit, like I think, what, two two years in the advertising um, agencies and advertising space, I decided that's not my space. For real? I, I, I was lucky enough to make that decision very early because, and it's not that I, did, I didn't have the, the, the character for it or the passion for it. It was because I didn't like the idea of being stressed because of a work environment. I knew deep down that I'm more of a family person. So I didn't like the being having to stay at work trying to catch um uh, 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 deadlines. deadlines until like you have to leave let's say twelve midnight you so know so you like the the profession not the stress that it comes with it. yes yeah okay and I was able to give it up and say you know what I want to work in environments that is controlled and I know if I can start work at eight and I'm leaving at four or it's nine till five. That is better. I don't want anything. So what you're doing right now is for lifestyle reasons. Yes. It makes sense yes. in your life. Yeah. All right. And you like, Ika, what did you want to be when you were young? There's been many stages of me being young. Mm-hmm. You'd have to ask at what particular stage. At 18. At 18. I was studying journalism, so already that's what I wanted to do. Mm. Uh, was that your passion? 
I used journalism <clears throat> as a way to get into radio. So radio was the passion. Because I wanted to be in IT. So now this is me dragging you back from the reference point that you gave me. I wanted to be in... Okay, before ITs, I think as young people of our generation, it was the cops, the doctors, the nurses, the teachers and whoever. And then the ITs got introduced and you got your eyes open to so many other careers. I mean, at some point... I kept it as an option to become an accountant. That's why I did accounting up until matric. Mm -hmm. But I was like, yeah, do I really know? And then I wanted to be a lawyer. Uh, Makes sense. Ooh. What do you mean? <laughs> you like to argue? <laughs> Makes sense. I wanted to be a lawyer. And, debate. and then <laughs> I think I was in grade 10 when the YFM wave hit in the area that I'm from. Also, bear in mind, I was a debater throughout. So I sort of like took elements of, okay, law, journalism, debate, in any. This could make a radio person kind of thing to a degree because the Gareth Cliffs, the Mark Gilmans, the Fed Joes, and all of those people had also studied law and dropped out, Bob Bad Boy T. So I was like, okay, maybe if I use law to get into radio, it might work. But I was like, ah, no, let me rather not do that. Mm. And then I just decided to straight out go into becoming a journalist. So I enrolled for so, journalism. So, so, so break it down for me. What was it? Was it law that you were passionate about or radio? So because in high school, um, I used to kick ass at debate and mock trials. Right? Because I was always in the mock trial as... N and... Not even as... Show her respect. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, and I was always like in the defense team. And not as a witness or whatever. I was like... You did that in high school? Yes. Oh, that must have been so cool, it bro. Was, it was. It was. It was hella cool. Fuck. And coupled that with debating as well because I've got national colors in debating as wow. well. Wow. Yes. So that's why I will never let go of a point. Mmm. Now yeah, we, we know that very we well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, First hand experience. Did you hear the chillers? <laughs> so um those that's what I did, but at the back of it, because radio was something that was so cool, like listen to it, the way people engaged with the, the listeners and whatnot. So a point but do you know I actually wanted me and a friend of mine wanted to start a community radio station, but well, we actually went the process of putting together the application. But because we had to leave for school, and this was in matric grade 11. We had to leave for school various... Obviously, I went to UJ. Uh, he was in Pretoria. We abandoned that process, and then somebody took over to literally hand in an application, and Porch got its first community radio station Wow! from the application that we started building from the ground up. Mm. The reason why I ask this, ne? Mm -hmm. when I talk to Len, I can never pinpoint what he wants to do. One thing. Okay. You understand? Like, 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 if you, if you look at me, you know, dude, from day one, radio. Oh, okay. You understand? And then it makes me wonder, like, because I've never worked in the office, I've never had a nine to five. But how many people are stuck in their nine to fives because of circumstance in life? Mm hmm. But I'm doing what they really, really, really want to do. A lot of people. There's a lot. That's that. crazy. There's a lot of people. There's a lot. I can't fathom that. Yeah. But you know, because life, whether it's because, like your parents said, you must be a doctor. Yeah. And then you started medicine. Yeah. Or whatever it is. You see, that's the thing. If you had never, if you actually, the, uh, the decision was made on your behalf. You see, wait, that's how you're starting. That's your foundation. Already now, you find yourself, let's say your late 20s, now you're, you've graduated, you get the job now, and then you're doing a job that it's like, when you think back, it's like, it's not really, it's what my mom told me to do, you know? That how happens. Many, yeah, how many kids finish matric, and then you go to university, you stand there by the queues, you're with your parents, or sometimes they just ask you some couple of questions. Okay, go into accounting, you know? Like, let's see your... Um, uh, your your results. So it's it happens. Just get into a lot. university, damn it! Because you passed with an exemption. Yeah. Find something. Find just, something. Just, just, just so that my child is there. Thank you. So it's the pressures of where our parents come from. Mm. Sometimes you feel like 
yo, this person has done so much for me. Ah, let me repay them back because I saw the sacrifices that they went through for me to even have an opportunity to line up at UJ and apply and be accepted for something. Like you see when you look That's at graduations. Crazy. Like, it's a big thing, you know? You know? So, um, I know, based on the whole parent story, my dad was like, no, nah, I'm not going to pay you. I'm not going to pay money for you to be a journalist. To climb trees and take pictures <laughs> of people. Like, no way. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to do that shit. Exactly. <laughs> Let's ask Tavang then. Tavang, because he's younger than us, did you ever feel any pressure from your parents to go to varsity and study something that you were not passionate about? Um, no, not really. Um, I come from a very supportive family. So, but I, w- I wanted to be an electrical engineer. For real? Straight out of high school. Ah, so I wouldn't have a cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> well, somebody would fix our cables. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Okay, yeah, so I went that. into electrical That's engineer. That's what you wanted to do? Yeah, that's what I really wanted to do. You just, from grade 10, I studied it in high school till grade 12, after grade 12. Went to study it. Then, like, after like eight months, I think I, should, I was writing my final exams. I was like, ay, nah, nah, nah. Plus one course was chowing me there. It was chowing me. And I was like, nah, do I really want to do this? Then I dropped mid-exam. And I just dropped and I told my father, I don't want to do this. He's like, okay, cool. What do you want to do? And then I said for until December and January was coming now. I need to now pick what yeah, I want to do, you know, because yeah. he doesn't want me to stay home, you know. But he says, do whatever you want to do, but just don't stay home, you know. Um, and he, did, he didn't want me to get a job. He's like, why we have an opportunity for you to study, study while you still can, you know? Mm. So then I pumped into photography, right? And then I said, yeah, I want, let me try this, you know? And then I tried it. I went to school for it. And then I dropped out again. Mm. You know, that's where my love for film developed. So uh, during that process, I dropped out, made, made exams. Even this, this time it was around June, dropped mm. out. And then I told my father, you know? And he was chilled about it, funny wow. thing, you know? He was chilled, and then he's like, yeah, what do you want to do now? Mm. You know, he was really patient with me, you know? I think it's because he understands what type of person I am. Mm. I'm very, I'm very, like, indecisive, and I, I don't, I don't have, I, I can't make, like, a decision on one thing, you know? Mm. So, he said, what do you want to do now? I'm like, nah, let's do film. It's like, okay, now nah, I'll do it. Then, yeah, that's what I'm doing now, I'm doing film. And you're in it, boy. Yeah, I'm you know, in it. You know what the irony about it is, ne? Uh, it, 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 it goes back to, uh, again, it's a generational thing. Yeah. <clears throat> in that there were parents that were very open to allowing you to be what you want to be. If the same way that my dad was like, yo, you're not going to be climbing trees, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> right? My mother was on some, at a very young age. You can do whatever. No. She was like, ah, you're not going to play soccer because that's not a career. Mm. Something of which I was very good at. Oh. Mm. So, it's like, ah, okay, cool, go to school, sharp, cool. And then that's when I quit playing soccer and I started playing cricket. Cricket was coming along nicely, but again, if you play cricket because you're a first team, you have to travel there, in, in, in. Mm. school comes into the mix of things. Mm. It's like, chief, ah, this is not going to work. But because debating was so precise with whatever, and to her, debating was like, ah, it's a hobby. Mm. Mm. You know, you... Wow. Who's a, who's a great debater? Except in the <laughs> movies. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And law, the mock trials and whatnot, uh, they were aligned mm. to law. So it was like, ah, okay, I see direction here. Okay. So that was cool for them. And when I said journalists, it's like, ah, yeah, yeah. And again, it's because those were the kind of things, those are the kind of careers that they didn't know about growing up. Yeah. It was like, mm. Mm. They were the lucky ones that became accountants and yes. doctors and whatnot. Dude. But I come from a small town whereby I think the wo- <laughs> wealth, but and I use wealth in inverted commas, in a little guy who owned the tuck shop. Mm. My father was rich mm. kind of thing. We, outside of that, it was like being a teacher, being a nurse type of thing so it's it's the environments that you come from yeah. um, i remember man i must tell you a crazy story so 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 like i grew up like liking music and so like you know when you have family functions mm. i don't know what i was doing but i always like dj and stuff so my mom knew like i liked music and then this one time in grade 11 um when in the accounting class so they were going around all the students and they were like so what do you want to be learners 
Yeah. They're like, what do you want to be? And everybody was like, I want to be a doctor. I want to be an accountant. I want to be this. And then they came to me and I was like, I want to do radio. And then everybody laughed. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody loved me, woman. So I felt shit, woman. So every yeah. time anybody asked me what do you want to be, I'm like, I want to be an accountant. Oh, shame. So my mom, is that why you took accounting? Yeah. Ah. Yeah. And, a, and computer science. <laughs> okay. So my mom took me to an accounting firm. Mm-hmm. This is grade 11, because now you're in matric, you got to choose subjects that, you know, yeah. will align to what you want to do. So she took me to an accounting firm. And then I sit with this guy. He's like, So you want to be an accountant? I'm like, Yeah, yeah. Ah, dude, he gave me the whole roadmap. He's like, all right, you got to study for three years. And then you got to do this. Articles. Articles. Right all in terms. all, it was seven years. <laughs> when I left that place, I'm like, fuck that shit. <laughs> <laughs> that was the last time. You were able to make your decision fast. Yeah, yeah. that was the last time I was like, I want to be an accountant. I knew, okay, cool. It's Radio's for, for me. Yeah. But then you look at it, you go back to so many people who are on radio. Entertainment, yeah, it's cool. It's, it's, it's like entertainment is such a big scope. There are those who go to school for it. There are those who bump into it and flourish. Because mm, it's natural. Yes. It's just it's just you. Yeah. You know? Um like I said, body bad boy tees, the freshest, the fed joes went to law school and whatnot and dropped out and ended up yeah. as household names. They ended up making some of us want to be like them. Mm-hmm. You know? But they don't have necessarily a Yo, uh, I was studying accounting. Wada 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 wada. No, it's just like pure raw talent that you invested in so much, and 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 and, and you made it work. Mm-hmm. Soccer players are the same. There's a host of them who do not go to school, of course, and and they make a killing. I mean, yeah. David Beckham quit school at like age fifteen, I yeah. think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And yeah. look at him now. Yeah. 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 He's at the end of the day, your talent can carry you. Your talent can take care of you. That's with hard work. Thing. With yeah, talent with h- alone is not enough. Yeah, a hard work. And but the more I hear about these stories... And you need to the, perfect your talent. Always. The more I feel like we're so privileged, dog, that our parents understood. Yeah. W- at, again, generational thing. Yeah. Your parents understood from where we come from, you were hella privileged. Yeah. So it, it, the thing is, it's not just... You'd find that if we're a group of 10, it'll only be like... Seven, who didn't have that choice, they had to follow what their parents told them, but mm. it's only three who had that privilege mm. with our generation. But obviously, over the years, it's getting better. Mm. And know? it's like, I, I, I look at it now. Dude, it, imagine being stuck at a nine-to-five doing what you hate. It happens. Just and to pay a lot bills, of people, bro. You'd be surprised and how many chillers would actually come through and say, yo, I'm one of those. To subsidize black tax as well. Because uh, it's not only paying bills; it's your bill. Well, black tax is also a bill. Yep. And and now we live. We we are in a generation whereby, I look at so many of my peers, people who are not even that older than me, who were privileged enough at at an early age to be into computer games. Now they're at a point whereby they're making playing computer games as a living, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and this is something that you started doing because, yeah, my mom bought me a PS One. Look at me now. Mm. Um, um, and again, because there were so many interests that I had, I'm just gonna go back. I, I don't know. I don't know if it will it makes sense to you that I am in the gaming space, but I am. Mm. Kind of thing. So it's, and esports is big now. Like, ah, so huge. is gaming for you a hobby? Or is it such a uh, that you It's a hobby to? that it's no no. It's a, okay. So with gaming, that does everything. Gaming, uh-huh, lingerie, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. law, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> <With> <laughs> debates. <laughs> so with game podcast, <laughs> podcast. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Grand with, game, <laughs> <laughs> with gaming, it started with my first computer that was bought for me in two thousand and one, mm-hmm. and that's how I started playing computer games, and that's how I started playing FIFA on PC. That went got my first PS two via using my cousin who had just received payouts, funeral payouts, because his mother passed away and there was obviously money that was... No, I didn't use him in a bad way. We both wanted it, but he wanted a racing game. I wanted to play FIFA. So as time went by, he lost interest in that. I took the console, played with it. At some point, I was working at YFM, managed to buy myself a PS3. At some point, I was at 702, managed to buy myself a PS4. Mm. And... 2020. Shit, what, do you th- what do you think about Eusebius leaving? Uh, it's a loss. 
it's a loss to 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 that station. He was. I don't know what nine o'clock podcast incoming. <laughs> <laughs> CBS, <laughs> the CBS show. And yeah. he was doing he was doing radio documentaries. Is it where he tells stories and like everyday stories that you never thought about, but they mm. would be so gripping. It 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 was it was out of this world, and that's why I'm saying that. Nine to nine to twelve is going to be very different yeah. going forward. I, I I don't know how I'm going to do my nine to twelve, and no disrespect to I think Eldrin plays in that space now, uh, with power and Clement Magnatella is coming in for seven o two. But you see, he's CBS, taking over, right? Is he good? Who? Clement. Clement. In his own right. In his own right, but in his own. But he's not a UCB. Yeah. The same way that UCBS was not ready to be. Mm. The same way that. Bongani is not John Roby kind of thing. Did you see the reason why he said he left? Uh, the official statement that I saw off of his Twitter was that he's got business interests that he needs to push. For me, that screams they didn't want to pay him enough. I don't know. Because, I mean, where were all those businesses' interests? Yeah, all this time. All this time. They were there. He was ignoring them. Because they were paying him enough. Mm. Maybe maybe he was making sanitizers and he sees that <laughs> it's time for sanitizers now. I need to fully focus on no, them. No, but the guy was had this uh, ability to just capture you. Because, uh, you know, I remember situations where, let's say I have to drive out of the office. And, you know, like when you've been in the office and you're just like tired, you just want maybe music. So I'd want to change the station. But as I'm driving out and I'm listening to Eusebius, like it's still on 702, literally the way the guy used to talk, you know, would capture you. You'd end up like, you know what? I'm gonna. I won't change. I just need to listen to him because he's able to like st- whatever story, wherever you catch him, it's like you're just waiting for the build up, the build up, and it's. I I, I remember from for those. He was also Dude. a great debater, by the way. Mm. There was a time. There was a time when I was at Prime Media, and Seven O Two was fucking shit up, numbers wise. Mm. They were crazy. What was the lineup like back then? Was it? It was John. John in the morning. It ne? was a Ridi Tabi. Yeah, oh. hey, that time it was Ooh. Jenny Chris Williams. Yeah, no, Stephen Hrotis did the midday report. Yeah, Stephen Hrotis. Then yeah, Jenny Chris Williams came in after, and then between David O'Sullivan slash Olani Guala, may his soul rest in peace. That was, was the afternoon be, drive, yeah. and then Guala. Bruce Whitfield came in after that with the money show, and then sports the talk. <laughs> with Udo Karelsa and Len Muleko as the producer <laughs> 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 was a show and then Obrima Sango after that. Yeah, but this guy was depressed at Prime Media. He was so I depressed. hated being a producer. Hey, I've never seen him like that. So oh. so that takes us back to our conversation. Okay. Why were you a producer? Because it was a necessary evil. Mm. So you you need once I got into the sp- once I got into the space, right? Uh the the radio let me actually say the radio space. While working as a journalist, it was all fun and well. I was working at YFM, fucking shit up, like partying every day. Met Magaeva, became very the, good friends with him. Mm. The Iceman. <laughs> <laughs> Who was the Iceman? You. Oh, you. Oh. The Ice Bucket guy. <laughs> I was never that. <laughs> his party would never happen without me. Oh. So he always. I think he knew who had his back peripheral. <laughs> the guy who was the owl who would turn like this. Oh. So like, he must always be there. Okay. Not an ice man. No, no. Sure, Capel. I know who was. <laughs> I know. Yo. I know who was his Capel. We both know. But I'm not gonna do that. Um. And once I left YFM, at the point of, I'm too old for this place. Ne? Let me find where I need to be. And subsequently, things happened, opportunities came. I was like, I've been on air, but I've never been on air to host my own show. Mm. And I had already been, like, taken a grasp of 702 kind of thing. Mm. And I was like, shit, somebody can speak for three hours. No music, nothing. How do they do it? I'm like, okay, cool. Check, check, check. Ah, there's a producer. There's somebody who actually puts all of this together. I'm like, okay, sure. Let me try this out. Hmm. And trying it out so that I understand the full business model of whatever it is that goes out on air. 
because some elements of it I had learned through the Y Academy. Mm. The business of, he knows, because he went through the same process, going to agencies with uh, sales guys. It wasn't guys. by choice. Mm. Yeah, you I was were, being disciplined. You were being disciplined. <laughs> So at YFM, I never really got to grasp the production thing properly because producing a three-hour music show at YFM is not the same as producing a talk purely show Show, on thingy. So I just needed to understand that. And upon understanding it, I was like, oh, okay, cool. So this is, you are the person who does this for this person. Television as well, when I went into TV, I learned being a guest, I learned being a producer. I learned being a reporter. And I learned being a presenter. I, I don't get that. Eh? I'll never understand that. It's, it's just a 360 thing or yeah. 180 thing that I need to work with. So that as a presenter, and you are the producer, and we're looking to speak to the ghost lady and she doesn't answer her phone. I can't shit on you because she's not answering mm. her phone. I need to understand, yo, I've walked the path. These people are difficult. Are we going to sort this out Together, Together, or I'm gonna shit on you and make you feel like shit. And unfortunately, what I experienced was a lot of talent shit on producers because Musi Maimani or Jacob Zuma or Tabon Beki did not answer their the phone, phone or were not available at the time they said they're gonna be available. Mm-hmm. And you come up with a plan B, and somebody still shit on you, but show must go on. Mm. Nah, dude, now I've always been radio nothing. Yeah, that's the thing. Some people are are, are, are open-minded. And that's the thing. Like, you, you just operate on that thing. That it's this or nothing. Yeah, it's all I know. It's all I know. I'm not trying to be the producer. (laughs) Nah, (laughs) bro. (laughs) (laughs) Nah, fuck that. No, you I remember. I remember when I was at 947, uh, Anela was getting the breakfast show. Mm -hmm. So Ravi, who was the programs manager at the time, is like, listen, uh, would you try out a show? with Anele and run a desk because she's looking for someone to run a desk on a show, yeah. which means I would have to leave my show Wow! to run her desk for the breakfast show. Okay. I was like, fuck, no ways, dude. I mean, I get it. It's Anele. It's a breakfast show. It's yeah. a big show, but leave her show. Leave my show. As in like... Because I was doing late nights. So as in like, you're not doing late nights anymore. I'm a fucking controller. Oh, okay. So, okay. but why do they have to... Like, Make you leave, leave your show. Well, you that, that's what they said. I'm like, no, nah, dude, I didn't come here to be a fucking controller. Mm. I came here to do a radio show. Yeah. So it's either that or nothing. Mm. You know, I'm, there's no ways I'm going to control for Anele yeah. when I know I want the show. What the fuck? But you see how many people would actually would have accepted that and said, oh, ah, maybe this is, it will open doors. Because another thing how people think as well is that this could open a door for something. Whatever I want, I'll use this opportunity to get where I want. Step so, and step and step and step. Yeah. So nah. maybe if you, if you maybe... At that what are you point saying? Maybe I'd still be enjoyed. <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe you'll be having a, a breakfast show. <laughs> or maybe you'll be doing drive. We don't know. Nah, bro. It's either you give it to me as a, as a host or nothing at all. I'm not taking people's calls. I'm not producing. I'm okay. not technical, whatever. And mm. perhaps when you... Even though I know how to do all do those it, things. Yeah, yeah. And... and, and <sighs> I appreciate people like you who are yeah. able to stick to their guns like that. I'd you, rather fall my yeah. own sword. Yeah, yeah. You know? I get it. I get it. It's it's uh, My industry is high risk, high reward. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So yeah. have, you take, have you been taking middle risks? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's been taking high risks. <laughs> Too high. <laughs> Too high. <laughs> <laughs> With no rewards. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I get it. Look at him now. High reward. <laughs> so maybe middle risk and rewards have been like middle to none. Mm. Kind of thing, but it's 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 look. Um, I I I saw you know something that's very strange. Some things that are th- there's a lot of things that people. Oh, we had a grandeur there. There's no more grandeur. No, there is some grandeur. No, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, there is. Uh, Rock it's me here. there, Tabang. It's 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 here, chief. Yeah, give it to Tabang. Let it pour. For Rock me. there, Tabang. Pour Tabang. Hey, this thing is nice. Kanyimba likes it, eh? Mm. <laughs> she was impressed. Grandeur. <laughs> 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 yeah, sorry. Yeah, continue. <laughs> it's like, you know, something that was a very contentious issue uh, on social media this past week, which I found very strange, is there are things that people want to do just so they associate with. What do you mean? Thanks, Tavan. It's like being on radio, just by virtue of, okay, cool, I'm, I'm on YFM. That's cool. They They see the... 
the lights and the billboards and the trends and everything. There's th- there's work that goes into that. It's not a he gets there and then he's like, yeah, that was a whoever. And then no, there's 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 actual work that goes, that goes into that. Yeah, no, right? of course. It's I got fascinated just superimposing that. I got fascinated by the amount of people who got excited with the launch of the PlayStation Five. Did you talk for it? You lost. In lingerie. Yo, we saw man. That was a boss move by that girl. That was a boss move, like yo. I salute you, girl. Pumi. Yeah, Pumi. Pumi. Yeah, Pumi. Sorry to disappoint you. Not my twenty grand, because I thought about it along those lines. For the PS5, along with the bells and whistles and the games and the extra controllers yeah. and everything, was saved when the rumors of the PS5 and the designs were coming out. Oh, but you can't buy us lights, Muna. How? And you've got a, a 20, you've got 20K the podcast, sitting. 20K sitting. sitting. Yeah, but you see, my gaming work pays for my gaming. Hey! Oh, hey. See, that's why I asked you. I'm like, is it a career or a hobby? I you said it's a low hobby. risk. No low risk. Yeah. <laughs> I said it's a career. I mean, sorry. I said it's low a low risk, ho- great reward. <laughs> <laughs> I said it. No, no. I said. I said it. I said it. No, no, no. Listen. I said it's a hobby hmm. that showed that yo, I can make money out of this. Okay. Funny enough. Uh, do you know the lady? Okay, um, we need a mix up before. <laughs> Why don't you talk for? He just said the how? gaming pays. It. The gaming pays hint, itself. Hint. <laughs> the gaming pays itself. We don't. We don't mess with the gaming money. It subsidizes itself. Oh, okay. Yes. So it's so in other words, podcast must pay. You. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the podcast must pay for itself. <laughs> and twerking must pay for itself, <laughs> ne? No, 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 no. It's that's a different story. So what I was getting to was people were just fascinated with the PS5 because oh my gosh, it's something new that's coming out. They really don't know. It goes back to people who became or went into certain industries not knowing the greater rewards that can come with those. Uh, we have spoken about. So many kids around the world, even in this country, who literally make a living off of gaming. Yeah. Now, if you're going to buy the PS5 just so it looks pretty on your TV stand, it's all good and well if you can afford it. Yeah. But if you understand beyond affording it, you can actually use it as a tool to make money. Money, of course. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then we are playing in a different space. How do you use it? He loved... You You go into... UF, uh, Thingy. FUT, if it's on FIFA, you play basketball online. But you can't you do that with the team. normal PS, the one that's out now, PS4? But then those games are moving too far. Ah, right? yeah. okay. Now you can do it, yes. Now but it's on still then, on 4. But still though, Len, and whether, it's not whether like it's you won it by twerking or you actually physically went to buy it, at the end of the day, you can still make the money off it. If... <laughs> My thing is, why are you policing you can't, people if, in their money? Yeah, I know, it's look- not that. Look, it's, it's, if you're twerking for it, that's cool. I have, n- I have no, I have no, I have no grabs with people who twerked for it. Okay. But if you can't afford the actual console, you need to maintain. Why? No, Why are you policing affording. people? Why are you policing people? Because it's their money. Yeah. Maybe just the guy only has Just like 10K. you bought shoes with your money. Yeah. And but I am saying, <laughs> like, look, <laughs> there's, 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 because I'm buying check, a shoe. Check. I'm in the gaming space, ne? In this country. I will literally tell you, you can count the amount of black people who are in gaming right now in the space uh, with our fingers put together, not mm. more than. Okay, what are you getting into? What I'm getting into is gaming is expensive. So, what so is the, I what just want a PS5, I don't want gaming. Spend? Okay, l- l- let me go to this. What will be the, uh, the average spend per month if you really want to get into the gaming field? I've got my PS5 now. I've worn it. I twerked yesterday. <laughs> Gish up, g- and you know, I, I've got it. So, monthly... Tell me. I'd say about three and a half thousand rand. Three and a half thousand rand. That's fair. If the guy is working, because end of the day, some of these twerking does not mean you've got nothing. Eh? Maybe he's working, but he just I'm not only saying, gets 10K. I'm, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with twerking. I'm saying the, 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 the beauty about certain spaces and industries, it's all good and well to do things because you want to be associated with something. As opposed when you get into something, because you can profit off of it and 
you can better your life and the lives of other people. Mm. But do you understand? Maybe I just want a PS5. Just for which the sake is, of which is which is which is, and which is another which thing, is, Lynn. Fine, okay, you've right? got your you've bought your t- your your let's say you've bought your your PS Five. You've got it. Not now yet. It's not. No, out. no. I'm just saying. Like, imagine now. Oh, and yes. this is a situation where you've bought it. You are playing now online, and then versus, um, nigga, <laughs> nigga, nigga, <laughs> <laughs> nigga <twerker. laughs> So, do you feel any less competing with the guy because? He, the, he, he had so, how Shem, he attained his PS5 how you get compared no, 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 to no. you. I was not saying, see, I was not talking hey, about... Hey, when Gosling is stuck with the twerking, eh? Yes. She and I'm let her go, eh? <laughs> I'm done. I'm, I'm done with the twerking. I'm saying, I am saying, so what I was saying in terms of opportunities, <laughs> né, in terms of the opportunities that <laughs> we have that we might not be aware of, right? There's Hashtag lo- twerking matters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Men of course twerk. it does. Everybody can twerk. Yes. I'm saying we need to understand that there is so much more into what we can do that it's just not about something that sits and looks pretty on your TV stand or on, 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 on your computer desk. Mm-hmm. It's it goes back to saying but we the, grew but up into let's take the twerking out. We're not about twerking. No, oh, no. I don't think you went going. <laughs> you not. took it there. I don't. But but please allow me to buy it and put it in my whatever See, yes, just so it looks nice because yeah. it's my money. Yes, it's fine. But I'm saying it's it's the same way that I can go and become. Don't impose your things on me. I mm. am not imposing. I am saying in terms of careers, we started speaking about. So I was talking about careers and what people can do without realizing that they can actually create careers. YouTube channels are becoming careers for a lot of people yeah. right now, mm-hmm. right? Um, th- there are so many things that you look at and you're like, wow, this is actually a job. People get paid to do this. So I'm saying that limitation that we had growing up okay, okay, ne, mm-hmm. should now be... Kind of king. Oh, that limitation of thinking only doctors, to, teachers... Should, should be broken down in mm-hmm. that, yeah, you can... You can twerk and make money. Oh, actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. only fans. Mm-hmm. For uh, for for argument's 100%. sake, you can play a PS5. So I was saying the people who were the mentality of the PS5 was, oh my gosh, this is uh, it's. But d- if you understand, or if you give education to somebody that, yeah, cool, it's a nice to have. Yes, but you can actually use it oh. to actually bring the cheese home. Oh. Mm-hmm. It will make it so much better. Oh, because you. when get we started you. playing soccer at a young age, yes, we just we played never, for fun. We never knew that you could get paid as much as Ronaldo or Messi are getting paid right now. Yeah. That's true. But had we had that education back then, yeah, we would have probably okay. Maybe he would have been the greatest DJ, and I would have probably been the greatest soccer player because mm. investment into both were or oh, producer, the greatest producer. <laughs> On 702. <laughs> <laughs> All the greatest people on 702. Do you guys watch, uh, have you guys watched uh, Mdeni? Umdeni. 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 Is it the one on Moja Love? Yes. yes. I bumped into it <laughs> and not by choice because, so my my PS4 was giving me issues. <laughs> <laughs> right? But it was not the PS4, it was actually the, it was, it was, it was the, what do you call it? It was my HDMI. Mm. So now I'm stuck with one HDMI that I have to use between the TV and the PS4. Anyway, so I had to watch... First no world problems. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> privilege. <laughs> the Wi-Fi still works, though. Um, I had to, yeah, watch. And then it's the one with the guy. I think he's in Mami Lodi, ne? Yeah. He's got like five, I've never watched my, 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 my woman has been trying to force me to watch it. So It looks trash. My woman was watching <laughs> that one. And there's another one about uh, mom... mom the the mom the 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 mother in law, mom mezala, mom mezala or oh. whatever. The one that's, that's on Moja Love. Yes, the it's one that's done by Dingan. Dingan. Yes. yes. So oh, I was no. watching it. It's too sad. The story is there. Shem. But Our. I was I was back on my mind. I was like, is this what we have come to? <laughs> But that's life, though. It's life. So this you've seen him then? I've, I do watch it. Uh, how is it? Oh, please, no. please, please, please. Uh, br- okay, synopsis basi- there. Okay, basically, there's a man. He's a traditional healer, Sangoma. And when these people... The thing is, when these people... Uh, obviously, they take initiates when they come in because they obviously they want to twasa and become Sangomas as well or healers or inyanga, whatever they you, you address them as. So, but this guy now... As you come for training, he makes you become a wife. <laughs> or yeah, sounds like the Tiger King. 
Sounds like Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> and basically. Harvey and Weinstein. <laughs> so they were friends, eh? Jeffrey? And yes, Harvey. Yes, and Harvey. Mm. Well, you see? But anyway, we'll, Birds we'll, of we'll, the we'll, same we'll, feather yeah, flock we'll, together. We'll, we'll get to that conversation yeah. when we speak about, oh, yeah. once you've watched that, I don't think you have. The Explain. Jeffrey Epstein. No, no Jeffrey, Jeffrey Epstein. Epstein. Uh, Jeffrey Ex, Eps, Epstein. Epstein. Is it on Epstein. Netflix? Yeah, yes. Netflix. Kind of okay. what's the name of it? It's something in r- Filth a Rich something? Filthy Rich. Filthy Rich, yes. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. We'll take a picture. and. I forgot to tell you guys. Do you see that um, new Netflix horror movie, The South African Eight. One? Eight. Eight. Mm. Yeah. I just saw a trailer. Oh, I can't wait. Netflix hit me up. They want me to do an interview with the, with the co-stars. Oh. That's dope. Uh, big ups, because I saw the trailer. <sighs> it is... <laughs> yo, 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 yo. Play, play, play. Where's your son? <laughs> she has recognized you after we're rising. <laughs> there, was, there, was, there was a horror <laughs> flick. Not, not wrong turn. There was one that subsequently came after that, which I thought was hell of a brilliant. But now this is one that is told... From a South African perspective. And uh, watching from the trailer. Mm. Have yeah. you seen it, Savang? You and watching from what we have brought out from this country yeah. in recent months, yeah. we're swimming in blood and water. Yeah, chief. Yo. no, you you are proud to be. Hey, you're finishing. Um, yeah, oh, um, sorry, yes. okay, mm. it's um, day, not um, day, day. not um, 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 day. um, day. um, day. um day. okay. So, this guy, a uh, married now, so he has five, there was five gay, um, uh, the, the, the gay men, he's married to guys. Yeah, so the the, it's a mix. the his his temple is a mix. Wow. So there's two women, which is very progressive, by yeah, the way. Yeah, very progressive. Like, like yo, you know, and the the, the man is he's PS fiving this shit. Yeah, you know, basically <laughs> without the twerking, <laughs> <laughs> they twerk for him, all of them. So because the, there was a scene <laughs> where they were all there in bed, like it even got to, there was a scene they were all there just caressing him in lingerie while pajamas. Yeah, the one that led me a good time. Uh, no, my, my range is not out yet. <laughs> How? Relax. Oh, so you do actually you have a plan to release. Chief, can you finish your story? <laughs> oh, that's what I was trying <laughs> to get to. Oh, shit. Somebody's sorry. being summoned home. Yeah, yeah. Umdain. Umdain. Oh, it's my uncle. He wants to buy some grand jeans. Hold on. Oh. Hold on. And the uncle. Hello, hello, my guys. What do you mean, uncle? Tell me, man. Uncle, I'm going to buy a picture of a picture. Oh, yeah, Grinjo. Yeah, Grinjo, yeah. Okay, but now your WhatsApp at here? Not in WhatsApp, man. I'm on WhatsApp. Do you send a guy? 071. Okay, take this number. Oh, record a record. Record a record. I'm going to phone a number. I'm going to phone a number. I'm going to phone a number. I can see a lot of chillers already <laughs> recording the 071. <laughs> yeah, he wants a picture of Granger. I'll send it to him. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think you just got some brownie points there. You see, he can speak vendor, guys. You yeah, know? He's rich one. You know how many cases he wants? He's rich, this one. Oh, is it? 42 cases. Oh, tata. Hey. Uncle. And you gave half his number. <laughs> Knowing Slate, our people, Slate queens are angry now. Like, oh. No, I think everyone's angry. Everyone, you know, this yeah, a guy who can buy 42 cases. Oh, wow. Yo, Yo, I'm gonna be algorithming the last four. <laughs> Please call 10001. <laughs> <laughs> Finish, go okay. the story. Yeah. Yes, um, the guy. So, he, there were five um, guys and then two women. Mm. Two of the guys, or actually two of the guys, were it was a p- two brothers. So it got into a like a little mess. Nyana, there was some argument, and then the two left. Basically, it was one guy who was arguing with the other guy, and then the friend decided because he told the guy like, "Okay, please leave," and then the brother decided to leave with him. Ne? So now there's only three guys left, and then the two women. Mm. That's the state right now. I'm waiting sure. for an umdeni of one woman with five men. We we're, we're getting there. If this is what we can, what do you watch? like about it when you watch when you watch it? No, the thing is, it was a shock factor, obviously, at the beginning. It's like what? What's you know? going on? Like what's going on? Is this this guy is straight up? So it's shock TV. Yeah, it was shock TV, and at this the, the this man is they you know kissing his equally he, the same way he kisses his woman, he will equally kiss the Have men. Have you ever seen a show like this before? In never, SA? never. It's crazy, yeah. Never? But there was a show before, like almost in this level, because it was actually another man. Who was also because I now I think this is popular in the twasing. Uh, 
the, the, the world of uh, Sangoma and Uktwasa and whatever, I the closest I know to it is my mother getting paranoid by always going because she thinks what a shit it's a calling or whatever. But mm. I don't think it is. Mm. Uh, somebody alluded to her saying that yo that might be the case. I saw a comment. Remember we spoke about Sangoma's the other episode. Yeah. Someone said they liked the episode except that part. They were it was cringeworthy. I'm like, how? Cringe worthy. Yeah. What? What's so no, much d- like, but now I shared experiences yeah. that yeah. I went through. Yeah. I can, I, and I'm not saying the Sangoma, the lawyer, no, but mm. going to a Sangoma does not There's mean you are lawing somebody yeah. else. But it's part of our culture. Those were the, at like, the end of the day. If we don't own it, who's going to own it? If yeah. we don't talk about it, who's going to talk about it? Yeah, they will they come through as a movie. Healers. <laughs> <laughs> Then we go and watch and it. And we're like, like wow, wow, that's was so revealing. So cool. Got like a black doctor, like throwing like, bows. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Nah, man. Because those who don't understand it will always allude to, ah, oh, man, that's just a tokoloshi. Yeah. Nah, it's more than that. Yo, my family's calling me. This is my aunt. Hey, this is my aunt now. But she doesn't You drink. are having callings. I mean, as in <laughs> people are calling you. Mm. No, no, no. She doesn't drink. Okay. okay. Oh, so it's not worth it. Yeah, we're, not, we're taking orders now. <laughs> So I think that that I think that there's like there's so much that happens. It's like if I had to explain to my mother who's sixty years old mm. why I want my fifteen year old son to be an e gamer. Oh yeah, it's Father's Day today. No, no. Yeah, yeah. When is it? 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 It's on the twenty first of June. Oh, yes, okay. It's next yes. week. Oh, all right. Yeah, wait for we'll we'll, we'll send you a shout out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next week, hold on. The first person to call you out is one who's not a father. <laughs> the irony. Sure. <laughs> but I'm saying it's it's a case of. Uh, <laughs> Look at you so forward. <laughs> it's, it's 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 it's. I think there are certain things that are there that we shouldn't be afraid of teaching people about yeah. mm-hmm. and sharing information about. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yes, there might be a lot of people who shun on those who have OnlyFans accounts. Mm. But it's because they don't understand. Yeah. There are those who shun on those podcasts. who do podcasts. Yeah. Uh, people who dance at strip clubs. Mm. Uh, people who are e-gamers. People who play sports. Mm. And we don't understand. Men like, who and twerk. Like, yes, mm-hmm. you are so fascinated about that. Mm-hmm. And it's... Men who twerk started with y- YMCA what long ago. What would you twerk for? Yeah. No, I believe I work for everything that I want to work for. Saban, I don't would have you to twerk? twerk for anything. You wouldn't twerk for anything? No. Mm. It's And why should we make twerking the ultimate currency? Mm. No, it's not. Mm. Like, yes, guys did it. celebrated with women. Yes, I'm saying guys do it to women, women do it to guys, and big ups to Pema22. That's her handle on, on Twitter. Would you suck a dick? For something, no, I don't. I don't have to get anything sexually, mm. whether it's with a guy or a girl. A million, no. Ten million, no. You can stretch it. No, I don't have to stretch the dick. <laughs> <laughs> you like it big? You can <laughs> stretch whatever you want to stretch. All I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, I. I'm oh fine. man, you love making Len feel uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not, and and that's the thing. I am not uncomfortable. Mm. And 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 let that not be a misconception. No, I am not uncomfortable. Mm. If I want to suck a dick, I'll do it for free. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your son? <laughs> that's the promo. Eh? Like, that's the promo. Eh? Yeah, the right thing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and that's just that, mm. right? Um, so in the making. <laughs> So there shouldn't be there shouldn't be there shouldn't be like some sort of like a currency or no it's mm. not a, if people want to do it because they want to do it for that that's good for them mm, I that's all I'm saying all right guys in closing what do you want to say man raising funds on that note <laughs> raising funds raising funds yeah. yes yes I think I think um in raising funds I'll challenge a lot of guys as well mm-hmm. especially with what has happened over the past week like yeah. you know the death of the woman was hung in the tree after being abused and killed by her boyfriend. You know the story? Mm. That's just one of a few, but... Yeah. And it's... Okay, let me not. Yeah. Let me not. So just, like, you know, stretch out there and just... It's, it's, it's at the end of the day. Another fight 
we're here on June 16, and it's no longer just about the struggle. We, we're done fighting for Africans. New, yeah. I think. Um, so the new struggle now is like you know what equality and 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 this GBV that happens continuously and every day the cases that are coming up, we need to just stand to be better and yo. You know just what? for that, it's like donate and just be like I'm standing. I'm donating just because of I'm touched and I'm not. I, I'm against this and I'm not part of that. Yeah, it's all good and well. What's going on right now? Mm. Because some people look down on it. Mm. Some people make jokes of it. Yeah. Some people tell of things that have nothing to do with it. Mm. The tables will turn one day, and women will start killing us. Mm. As men, mm. Mm. then you let me know how you feel. Yeah. Mm. All right. This has been podcast that just and chill. Landed there. Yeah, boy. Uh, stick around, man. The Kili Kumalo interviews. We're like the Kili Kumalo. Can you bow? They both make gin. They both make gin. Yeah, yeah. Common yeah. denominator. It's a, it's, it's a battle of the chins. <laughs> uh, Kili Kumalo episode is coming up. Kili Kumalo just repeated it again. Can you bow? It's coming up. Hashtag Amanda Westbine. Hashtag 100K Initiative. We're trying to ra- uh, raise 100K today. Yeah. And with all the chillers that we have around the world, I think we can do it, Lakika. Yeah. You can do we it. We can. Uh, there's a lot we can do. Uh, possibilities there's 35, are endless. 35,000 chillers. Imagine if, if people just even dola- donated. 10 rand. 10 rand. Mm. 10 rand. Mm. Minimum. Is the math okay there? 10 rand will be... Just on mm. views, we even get about... We average yeah? about 8... Three. Mm. Eight thousand. Hmm? Ten rand. With thirty five thousand. Yeah, then we then we'll ten get rand will be three point five. No, three fifty K. No, it'll be three hundred thousand. K, yeah. A rand will be no 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 no, no fifty cents, I think, look, actually. Look that, at this. This is why it dropped out. <laughs> No, no, but look at this. No, no, Lane, I'm getting Because the cost was not adding up. <laughs> <laughs> but normally we average on about 8,000 ch- uh, views. 10,000, respect Yeah, 10,000. Okay, 10,000 views. So that's why 10 rand will work. So 10 rand, imagine if all of the, if you view and Today, you see this if part. If view you, is a 10 yeah, rand. Just let's make a difference. 10 rand. Let's make a difference, man. Yeah. I really like this initiative, man. I love it too. I wish I had a dude. There's so much we're learning about business now as we go <laughs> that if it was instilled in us when we were younger, younger. Oh, imagine the choices exactly. we could have made. Yeah. It's the popular saying, uh, don't give a man fish, teach him how to fish because mm. then you help him sustain himself mm. for a longer period of time. Definitely. Uh, I could have botched that saying somewhere, but mm. I, I know it ends with teach a man how to fish, fish mm. yeah. because then... You empower them more. Yeah. Which is the one where you, you can take the man to the well, but you can't teach him how to... No, you can take a horse. This oh, isn't horse. a horse. <laughs> horse. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't make it drink. Yeah, you, you can't can make, make it drink. drink. Yeah. yeah, take a horse to the river. Yeah. 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 But in this case, we are... With this funding, it becomes the river. So the that funding nourishes, is the river. Mm. That nourishes a lot of people. Yeah. Mm. For in their future. All right, we are here, podcast and chill. Boom. Thank you.